No catch. I found this woman online and she was looking for a house sitter, so <clears throat> here I am. Shut up. <laughs> oh. <coughs> mm. yep. It must be real dusty in here. My chest is tight enough. Oh, I thought you grew out of your asthma. Girl, please, I wish. Mm. Wait a minute. What? Is that a pool? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you officially just became the luckiest sister I know. <laughs> Where do you want me to put this? Oh, you can put it right there, on the table. Okay. The place is looking great. Yeah. It's got a great vibe to it. It's got some kind of vibe. I'm not sure what. An awesome one. An amazing one. If you say so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I must have set it on the edge. No, I'm sorry. It's really not a big deal. It was a gift from Shane. Now, wait a minute. You said you got rid of all the evidence of him. That was the last shred. Mm-hmm. It was. Okay. 
Can I ask you something? I mean, I know it's, you know, not my business or anything, but what did you ever see in him? He was more appealing from afar. Oh, I guess I heard that before. <laughs> did you love him? No. But you know me. I mean, I'm not the fall in love type. Oh, yeah, that's right. You move the, um, give it up too soon type. <gasps> Bitch! Just saying. That is not true. Huh? That's you. Me? Yeah, you. Well, I learned from the best. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> She got this going again. <laughs> what is that stuff? Spice, synthetic weed. It's the new high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's Charlie? I haven't talked about him lately. No, oh, Charlie. Hmm. Well, he's dating. Who? Wait for it. Roxanne Reed. No, Butterface? That's Are you serious? She's such a slut. Oh, I cannot believe that. Mm. I just can't. I can't with guys right now. I am done. I am done with this. Mm. What time is it? Oh, shit. OK, I got to go. What's wrong? No. Why? Why don't you just spend the night? I got to find a job. So OK. Wait a minute. I know I'm not crazy. I know I put that blue vase right there. I swear I did. Okay, no more spice for you. <laughs> spice. <laughs> All right, girl, I'll see you later. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. I'm so glad you're here. Me, too. <laughs> Let me walk you out. You know what? You should not be driving. I'm fine. there.
on rental. Can I help you? Yes, hi. I just moved into 2525 Hill Street Road, and I just saw a mouse running around my living room. I don't know how big of a problem this is, but I really need it to go away. Will anyone be there at the property? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. Thank you. Hi. Yes? You needed help, right? Where the hell? The mouse in the house? Oh, right, the exterminators. <laughs> I'm Louie, and this is Angel. We call ourselves pest eradicators. Here's our state license. We're incorporated. OK, yeah, please, come in. Nice house. <laughs> Expensive. problem here, ma'am. If I was you, I'd move out. How serious of a problem is it? I'm sure it's nothing we can't handle. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be in the other room, so holler if you need me. Would you guys like anything to drink? No, thank you. Okay. You know what, Louie? I'm thirsty. You can't be thirsty. You're just real suggestible. But that ain't the point. You never asked me what I want, ever. And you disrespected me in front of that lady. I don't like this job you got us doing. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. Ain't nothing we can handle. What kind of shit is that? But she's a nice lady. We should help her. Well, if you're thirsty, go ask her. I'm working. Well, I... Uh... Just not do that. Ooh. You need to come with us. You don't belong here. We don't like the rules. We're just trying to be cordial and help. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You can't stay here. There's nothing for you here except to bother the girl. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Are you okay? <laughs> we'll be back in a few days, ma'am, to check on the traps. No one is ever truly alone in their home, ma'am. As long as common sense prevails, we should have no further problem. Chiquita, the office sent me. They said you got a rodent problem. Oh, um, some other guys were already here and they took care of it. So, do you don't need my help? No, I'm I'm good, thank you. Hi, I'm Lisa Wagner. I'm here to see Mr. Bentley. Do you have an appointment? No, um, but could you see that he gets the CD, please? I'm sorry, we can't accept that. All submissions come from a registered talent agent. Do you have an agent? No. 
I'm sorry. Can I help you? I'm here to see Mr. Wilson. Do you have an appointment? No, um, I just, I wanted to give him my CD. Uh, give me one second. Ben, there's someone here to see Mr. Wilson. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat. He'll be right out. Okay, thanks. Miss uh, Wagner? <laughs> Mr. Wilson? Uh, no, I'm Ben, his assistant. How may I assist you? Oh, I just, I wanted hey, to Hey, Jerry, him. yeah. No, 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 no. Dude, don't bow me in this, man. You know how she gets. I just wanted to give him my CD. I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson prefers to hear new clients play live. Do you have a gig we can come hear you play? No, not yet, but... Yeah, um... of course not. Hold on. Look, get a gig, and then give me a call. We'll come see you, okay? Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that, man. Oh, um, do you validate? <laughs> no. I don't believe these people. Yeah, so, get there tomorrow. It's all gonna be good. Thank you. They got Boswell. You book acts, right? Book. Man, he's a talent scout. I do it all. <laughs> you, uh, a musician? Yeah, yeah, this is me. I need a showcase, and... I will play for free. I understand. I, I really do, but I got a lot of old bad here. I can't book an act unless they got a record deal or a large following. I'll tell you what I do. Listen, I'll give you a job as a waitress. I get a lot of industry people through here. Network, schmooze, right? Don't answer right now. Think about it. I'll give it a listen. Maybe I can uh, pass it on to somebody. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, Tiff. Hey, girl. You any luck on finding a job? Mm, no, not today. How about you? Any luck? Well, I went on this audition today, but I don't know. I just I didn't feel prepared. I didn't feel as pretty as the rest of the girls. and I just wanted to run to my car. Listen, you are a gifted actress, Tiff, and you're smoking hot. Thanks, friend. Oh, and speaking of smoking, that spice stuff we smoked the other night gave me nightmares. Tell me about it. All night I was hearing piano music. I thought I was hallucinating. I threw it out. Hmm. Weird. Well, what you feeling like, dinner, movie? Mm, can we do it tomorrow? Fine. All right, well, call me tomorrow. Awesome. I only saw him for a second. I woke up and there he was, just sitting in a chair. And then I screamed and he ran off. He was sitting in a chair? Yeah, just staring at me. Can you describe him? Young, 20s. He was white, really, really white. Have you ever seen him before? No. I looked everywhere upstairs, and there's no sign of forced entry. There's no disturbance of any kind. But I did find this. I had yours. No. Must be his, then. Must be. All right, Detective Morrison and I will file a report. That way, if you call again, we'll know what to look for. We good here? Mm-hmm. Okay. No. What's wrong? I don't know. 
don't know. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I, I've never seen him before in my life. And he was in my bedroom. He was just staring at me. Wait, wait. Who? He? What? what? This man. I don't know. Did he do anything to you? No. No, he just stared at me. Um, you called the PD, right? Yeah, but by the time they showed up, he was already gone. Oh. I don't even know where to start with this. Um, you're staying here tonight. And tomorrow we can, um, we can both go back to your house and check things out, okay? Okay. Stay here. Mm -hmm. Nobody's here. I mean, do you just you want me to just hang around for a few days or something like that till you're comfortable? <coughs> no, girl, are you crazy? You have asthma. Okay, inhalers. I'll be fine. Tiff, you worry way too much about me. I'm fine. First you're freaking out, now you're not freaking out. That freaks me out. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be fine, okay? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me show you out. I got it. Okay. No crazy business. Try to be flat. Oh my god. I have a gun. Sure you do. Who are you? My name is Eddie. Nice to meet you. This is my house. Now please leave. How did you get in here? I live here. You can stay the night, just be out by the morning. Detective Morrison, please. Thank you for coming. Where is he? He's upstairs in the attic. All right. <clears throat> Elisa. Nobody in here. What? And nobody in here. Are you sure you saw him come to the attic? Yes, yes. Well, it's not the first time we've been called up to this house. I've been here myself a couple times. Never saw nothing. There he is. There he is. Where? He's, he's right there. He's right there on the piano bench. Can't you see him? in here, except you and me. What? He's, he's right there. He's right next to you. He's right there. You know, you got to get off of this place. I know it's illegal now, but uh, it's making you paranoid. Listen, I'll, I'll do you a favor, okay, kid? I'm not even going to make a report. But... What? He's waving at me. Let's go. It's all right. Thank you, Detective. Listen, now. Uh... Get some sleep. Stay off the K2.
that disappearing act you did was very, very clever. What are you, a magician or something? I'm not moving out. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. Please, get out of my house. Now! Excuse me. You can see me? Yeah. So can he. Who are you guys? I'm Louie, and this is Angel. Hi. We're here to help. Thank you, but I don't need any help. But that's not the point, Eddie. You know my name. Oh, we know everything about you. You know everything? Everything. See, we're soul collectors. We're here to guide you to your next port of call. Thank you. But I'm very happy here. Angel and I have been doing this for a long time. We're professionals. We understand how you feel. But like anything, there are rules you gotta follow. Or shit happens. Then things get out of hand. It was an accident. No, it wasn't. Eddie, you spooked her. Eddie, you don't belong here. It's time to move on. But I'm not ready. We can't force you to leave. But if you wanna stay, you better behave. I'll see you later. You ought to do what he says. I would if I was you. Lisa Wagner. Yeah, that's me. You fell down a flight of stairs. Yeah. Do you have any idea how long you're unconscious? No. Any change in speech or vision? No. A loss of feelings in your legs or arms? Mm, no. All right, let's have a look at you. Look straight at me. Don't move your head. Follow the light.
Hi. How you feeling? Much better today. Good. So, what are your plans? I think I'm gonna go to the house and um, get some clean clothes, get my mail. Uh, no, ma'am. I will be going to your house, getting your mail and your clothes. You're gonna be staying here and chilling. Tiff, seriously, I've been sitting in this house for way too long, and my, I can feel my ass. It's getting flat. You are crazy. Look, I have an audition in Hollywood at 3 o'clock. I will see you later. All right, good luck. Love you. All right, love you too. Today we commemorate the untimely death of piano virtuoso Eddie Conway, who died in 1969 at the age of 20. Don't be frightened, please. Don't be frightened. I'm not going to hurt you. Are you all right? Look, it's pretty weird for me, too. I didn't exactly plan my death this way. Did you find a new place to live? You can stay here if you want. Those things will kill you. Would you care for a cup of tea? Do you take sugar? No. Thank you. How's the tea? It's very good. I'm very glad you like it. Do you like this house? Yeah, it um, has a great vibe to it. It does, doesn't it? I designed it myself. It's quite ahead of its time. Everything good I ever did comes from here. How long have you been here? Since 1969. What day is it today? It's Wednesday, April 25th. Have you ever tried? No. Well, there's a first time for everything. You can do it. It's OK. I'll go get the food. What would you like? I'll have whatever you're having. Okay. I'll be back. Lisa. Shane. What are you doing in LA? Not on your face. Nothing. I slipped. How did you find me? Does it really matter? I gotta go, okay? Can we talk? I gotta go, I can't, I can't do this.
What? <gasps> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Please don't do that again. I won't. I promise. I got you some tacos. Mmm. 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 Good. I've forgotten how good a taco is. Do you want a beer with that? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Do I have food in my fish? You can eat. Yes. You can drink, you can smoke. I can walk the walls. I don't age. I don't feel pain. I can be seen or not seen, depending on my preference. The only thing I can't do is... leave this house. Huh. Tell me about you. Me? Um, like what? Everything. Something. Anything. Okay. I'm 21. Singer songwriter. I love rock and roll and old movies and classic American cars. Mm -hmm. I believe that everything that happens to me is either by luck or accident, never as I plan it. <laughs> How about you? Mm. I started playing piano at age four. I composed my first concerto at 12. Won the Van Cliburn piano competition at 14. Got a hit record at 17. I love strawberries and bluebell ice cream. They still have bluebell ice cream. Yeah. Are you in a band? No. I love writing songs for other people. Could I hear one? No. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. I wrote this one when I was in high school. Like a summer day, you came and went away. My too fast Tell me when you'll be back again How long can this last I missed you today I missed what you might do and what you might say It was beautiful. It was raw, it was heartfelt. Can I hear another one? Tonight I have plans, but tomorrow? Tomorrow is a long time. Good night, Eddie. Good night. Lisa, this is getting serious. You don't believe me. I mean, I, I want to. But you gotta admit, this sounds crazy. I mean, some yeah. pianist that died 40 years ago? Have you
you told anybody about this? No. Oh, Probably think you look crazy. Like you're looking at me right now? Kind of. I mean, what does this ghost look like? He's handsome, sexy, with these beautiful grayish, greenish eyes. You have a crush. How, Tiff, he's a ghost. Oh, really? Well, that should pose a problem. But I guess we have seen worse. That's <laughs> true. Have you ever considered calling Ghostbusters? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not funny. It is. Not funny. Listen, you're my best friend, and I love you, Lisa. But people that believe in ghosts normally have, like, real issues. Like suicidal thoughts, there's drugs involved. It's a whole moment. And I, I don't think you're like that. I mean, are you? Are you I'm just you're right. You're right. I know I'm right. Hmm. So, you know that guy I was telling you about? Which one? Adrian. Oh, the cute one from the soap opera. Yeah, well, he is sweet. Ooh, look at you. Ooh, I cannot wait to get a piece of that. You are such a skank, and you're mental. Wait a minute. You have new ghost friends, and I'm the mental one? I'm glad you're here. Are you staying this time? Well, I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? Have you ever had a roommate, Eddie? A few. But I didn't like them very much, so I made them leave. Why? They were loud. Disruptive. Unappreciative. Well, what changed your mind about me? Self-condemnation. My juvenile behavior almost cost you your life. Then I realized that this is your home, and I am the trespasser. Besides, you have moxie, an attitude spunk. <laughs> I must tell you, when you were waving that poker at me, I was truly terrified. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I thought you were a squatter. I wish I was. Then I would have had the choice to leave. <laughs> You know, I've never shown myself to anyone, except you. Why? I don't know. I truly don't. Eddie, if I stay, no more poof you're here and poof you're there. It spooks me. This is your room. I don't want you hanging around in mine, being all invisible and stuff. It creeps me out. You're taking all the fun out of being a ghost. I'm good with that. Good. Then I'll stay. Wonderful. Let's celebrate. Celebrate? <laughs> Where did that come from? My agent. He told me to let it age. To your new home. <laughs> Remember when you first moved in, you were messing around with a few chords? Well, I played with them a little bit, and I added a few of my own and a melody. Would you like to hear it?
Wow. Do you like it? Yeah. I, I just, I thought you were a concert pianist. I am. But I also love rock and roll. Truth be told, I always wanted to be in a rock band. Music is music. There are little differences. Rock and roll is fun. You play to thousands of screaming fans. There's so much energy and enthusiasm, eclecticism to feed on. It's physical, it's sexual. Whereas a concert pianist, you perform for a bunch of rich, old, conservative bastards who take a nap while you're pouring your heart out. I could never look out into the audience because of that. I hated it. I felt like a performing monkey. Performing monkey? You know what I mean. Yeah, I do. To me, touring with a rock band is a good time. You have the band, the roadies, the groupies. You're never alone. As a concert pianist, I hated going on tour. You're always alone. Alone in your hotel room. Alone on stage, alone with your piano. Alone in your head. It's painful. But then I would hear the music. And all that loneliness just fades away. The only time I ever felt that way is when I was on stage or at home with Linda. Linda? My fiance. And I loved her more than anything else in the world. Have you ever felt like that about someone? No. No, I've, I've never been lucky in love. I hope someday you are. It is the greatest feeling in the world. What happened? I was performing at the Granada Theater in Santa Barbara. It was the last of a long and grueling tour. All I wanted to do was finish the piece get home to Linda. My wedding was just a week away. Linda? 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 <laughs> Linda, sweetheart. What's wrong? Talk to me. <laughs> Linda. Look at me. Look at me, Linda. That was the last time I saw Linda. I'm so sorry. Is death painful? No. I didn't feel a thing. All I remember is that the moment of impact being pulled from my seat and being held up above. 
I looked down at myself. I was confused. Disoriented. Nothing made any sense. All I knew is I wanted to get home to Linda. So I ran down the highway. But when I got here, she couldn't see me. And I realized I was dead. But I was deeply in love. I couldn't let go. So I stayed. And I waited. All these years, you've been waiting for Linda? Let you have your privacy. No, no, it's okay. It's not that important of a phone call. Eddie. Hey. Hey. You look really good. Mm -hmm. So, why did you need to talk to me? I miss you, Lisa. Ever since we broke up. I've been going out of my mind. It's... Shay, please, just don't do this again, okay? I love you, Lisa. Shane, you hurt me. I don't feel for you right now. So you can honestly tell me that everything we had, that was just in my head? No, but it doesn't change anything. You were unfaithful to me. I can, I can change. You can change. I can change. Just give me one chance, please. Where do we start, Shane? How? Well, uh, you know, I was thinking I could move up here and start looking at places. Oh, stop. I can't, I can't be with you. Seriously? Yeah. Fine. You know, if you honestly think that there's no way for this to work out, obviously I'm upset, but you're a big girl. You can do what you want. Thank you for understanding. I didn't say understood. I'm just saying I can't make you love me. Shane, sometimes things just don't work out, okay? That is bullshit, Lisa, and you know it. Calm down. I don't have time for this right now. You never had time for me. Come on. Live your sad little life. You know what? You are an asshole. Don't call me. You look beautiful. Would you care for a cup of tea? I would love some, but I'm late. Okay. Did you forget something? <laughs> Have a good day. I'll see you later. Yes, I'm Lisa Wagner. We spoke on the phone. Oh, yes, of course. Please come in. Come in. Come in. Don't, I'm, almost, I'm almost finished. I, I finished the second movie. Wow, that's great. 
<laughs> I'll play it for you tonight to celebrate, unless, of course, you have other plans. No, no, that's perfect. I can't wait to hear it. Hey, um, come with me. Come. Mm -hmm. I have a surprise for you. Oh, I love surprises. <laughs> Miss Thompson? Yes? Eddie. Eddie! Uh, dear, maybe we should forget about this. No, he's here. It's okay. Eddie! Linda, I swear to you. Look, I knew this was a silly idea, but I, I believe you meant well. Otherwise, I wouldn't have come here in the first place. Goodbye, dear. Linda? Oh. All of these years, I've waited. Wondering if I would ever see you again. <laughs> Don't be frightened. I'm not. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm very glad you came to see me. Lisa was very persuasive. Most people would have thought she was crazy. I wanted to believe her. I'm glad you did. You haven't changed. You look the same as the day we met. For years after the accident, I... Couldn't think of anything but you. And my love for you kept me going. But if I had known you were here, I, I would have... You would have found a ghost. Not someone you could have built a life with. Are you happy? Yes. I've had a very good life. But I want you to know that there's no one in this world who could ever take your place or make me forget you. Is this it for you? I mean, do you stay here forever? No. I'm about to move on. To where? I don't really know. So I, I'm going to have to start missing you all over again. No. Just remember me. I'm so happy that I got to see you again. Goodbye, Linda. Goodbye, Eddie. How'd it go with Linda? Painful. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have meddled. No, please don't feel that way. It was good to see Linda again. At the same time.
same time, it was painful to realize a lifetime has passed. Now I know I've stayed too long. I wish I met you a long time ago. People come into our lives when they're supposed to. But I'm not people. I'm a ghost. To me, you're no different than anyone else. Beautiful. Thank you. To your new home. I hope that you're happy here. Hey. Shane, what are you doing here? I know that I'm the last person that you want to see, but I just want to apologize for the other day. I was wrong, and I'm sorry. Look, Shane, I'm busy, and you should have called first. I wanted to see you. I brought you a little house for me. It really wasn't necessary. Aren't you going to invite me in? Some place you got here. You got plans? Please don't do this. Do what, Lisa? Merely commenting on the fact that the table's set for two? Warm glow on your face, dressed to kill? Just curious who you having fun with. Frankly, Shane, it's none of your business. Look, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but you just keep pushing and pushing until I can't be nice anymore. It's over between us. I don't love you. I just don't. I'm sorry. You know, they say the more you love someone, the more you hate them when they break your heart. I've never loved anyone the way that I love you. Sorry. 
promised myself I wouldn't let that son of a bitch get to me. Then don't. You know, if things were different, I think I could fall in love with you. Yes. But sadly, they aren't. This pasta is delicious. Do you like to cook? No. I prefer room service. Just like my father. Was your father a chef? No. He was a musician. He played guitar in a rock and roll band. Hmm. My father had this dream of becoming a rock star. My mother left us when I was three. I guess she just wanted a more stable life. So my father raised me on the road. Well, that must have been rough for you. Are you kidding me? It was a great childhood. Hmm. What's wrong? I'm out of cigarettes. Oh, here, try one of these. No, 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 here, watch me. You have to hold it in. Okay. Yeah, hold it in. Deep. Okay, you can, you can let it out. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel nice. Hmm. Hey, save some for me. Really? Do you hear any music in your head? No, not lately. Why not? Dispirited, I suppose. Dispirited? <laughs> yeah. I went to a record company. They won't listen to my stuff unless I get an agent. I can get an agent until they hear me play, but I can't get a gig. Unless I have a record deal. <laughs> that sucks. Tell me about it. How do you make it in this business? In my time, it was talent. Today, who knows? Oh. Oh, I love this song. Do you want to dance with me? Oh, come on. Come on, dance with me. I just warned you, right? No fair to stare. <laughs>
in the hell do you think you're doing? Smoking pot, drinking wine, sweet talking that young girl. Who do you think you are, Romeo? You're dead. Dead. Angel. No, I don't want to hear it. Mm -mm. This time you cross the line. First off, you show yourself to the lady. Uh, that ain't right. That is not done. Secondly, who are you to tell her she has to move out of her own house? Yeah. Louie and I, we've had it with you. We've been doing this for 75 years, and we have never had any problems up until you. You're supposed to have already crossed over. See, you're upsetting the natural order of things. So now, you're gonna come with us. Let's go. I'm not ready. What, do you have to pack a suitcase? Louie! Angel! What do you want me to do? The man's not ready. Well, oh, Louie, sometimes you are as useless as tits on a bull. Eddie, Angel and I are here to help. Tell me how we can help you. Let me finish my concerto. Fine. But, but you're not going to change your mind, right? You have my word, Angel. Good. When you're ready, Push this button. Okay. Ah! Mama, I can't talk right now. Let's go. You behave. sakes. I know it sounds crazy, but I feel for him. Look, you're my only friend. Don't go crazy on me. I didn't hear you come in. How long have you been back? A bit. I brought you some cigarettes. Thank you. What's wrong? What makes you think something's wrong? I can tell. Can you? Yes. You can talk to me. Do you remember the other night when you asked me if I'd ever been in love? And I said no. Yes? I lied. Please don't say that. I can't help it. I've never felt like this before. Lisa, I'm an illusion. I'm dead. And my death is a matter of record. We can't just fall in love and live happily ever after. Perhaps if things were different. I'll take my chances.
how was it? Wonderful. Oh, that's pretty. Don't. If you press that button, they'll come. Who? The soul collectors. Soul collectors? When a person dies, their soul is confused. It doesn't know where to go. The soul collectors guide them and help them move on. You see, time is a human notion. There is no time in eternity. If you would have pressed that button, time would have stopped. And when time stops, eternity begins. Does everyone have one of these? No. I'm what you might call a special case. The collectors can't force the soul to move on if it doesn't want to. But I gave them my word. After I finished my concerto, I would let them know. And you would move on? Yes. Why'd you stop me? Because I love you. I love you too. Wait here. I'll be back. And, um, I think I'll take this with me, just in case. <laughs> You never moan like that with me. Shane, you scared the hell out of me. What are you doing here? I'm here because I love you. Shane, I think that you should leave. I don't think I can. You know what, that's it. I'm calling the police. I wouldn't do that. Shane, this, this is getting out of hand. You were the best thing in my life, Lisa, and I let you get away. I'm to blame. I have no right to be mad at you for hooking up with the first guy that you meet. But I am. I'm gonna give you one more chance. Come back to me. Shane. I swear to you, Lisa, if I can't have you, I don't wanna go and live in. Look, this, this isn't you. You don't want to do this. Since when do you care what I want? If you really cared, we wouldn't even be having this conversation, would we? It's because you don't care. That's why we're in this situation. I love you, Lisa. Do you? Do you really love her? If I didn't, then why would I be here? Then why are you pointing the gun at her? Does this make more sense to you? I hate guns. Why don't you put that thing away? Are you asking me or are you telling me? I'm asking. Please. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. <laughs> you sure are polite. Why don't you just give me the gun and we'll forget this whole thing ever happened? Back off. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Stop! Don't mess with me, I mean it! She stop!
Why? Because I love you. I couldn't bear to see you get hurt. I'm a ghost. The bullet would have gone straight through me. So what happens now? Evening, Miss Wagner. Angel. Louis. You're the sole collectors. I'm so sorry. I... Could we please have a minute? You got five. I don't want you to go. It'll be for the best. When will I see you again? I don't know. But I promise you, wherever you are, I will find you. How will you find me? I don't know. But I will. Please just hold me a little bit longer. Time. Till we meet again. Goodbye, my love. Dear Lisa, the few moments we share together are more than enough to fill my heart until we meet again. All my love, Eddie.
This love we knew we squandered. This love we feel the lies. This love we had had spoken. This love it's got a lie. This love we had. This love. This love.